way to improve your business. I hope you found that the uh, previous nine have been helpful to you in, in trying to turn around uh, uh, a trend in the retail business that uh, has been one of the worst uh, we've ever faced. And you know, uh, about a month ago, going to the retail advertising conference, there was plenty of reason uh, not to go there with uh, a very excited uh, viewpoint because of the gloom and doom that uh, had been pervading uh, the media as well as the business press. Um, surprisingly, there was great attendance, and uh, even more surprising was the number of success stories that. Uh, uh, we heard and some of the aggressive plans that a lot of stores had despite the uh, the economy. And one of the the best of the stories that we heard quite frankly was from Burt Jacobs the CEO and co-founder of Life is Good uh, the t-shirt maker that said terrific growth and uh, especially in the last couple of years and has really developed a cult brand for itself Bert was excited and enthusiastic and uh, he had a great story but I think the key to his whole presentation as he told from their, their rag to riches story was the, when he uh, said his mission statement which was optimism can take you anywhere and that's the top way to improve your business number 10 be optimistic you know showing how uh, he and his brother John uh, went from selling their own t-shirts on the streets of Boston to out of a minivan uh, in college campuses all around the Northeast. Uh, Bert uh, Jacobs and John took on an optimistic viewpoint that uh, was really personified by their icon. That's Jake. Jake uh, um, really personified the life is good mantra and they built a business uh, and a great company uh, with some basic principles. Those are, first of all, that optimism is contagious. Absolutely. If we're optimistic, our people will be optimistic. Uh, the second one is people do care. Both your customers and your employees, they really do care about the company and about other people. And they care about what's happening in the community. And finally, the uh, last point that Bert made was that customers like you if you're doing good. They set up the Life is Good Foundation to help kids and uh, help their communities, and it's really taken off to, to the, fact, the point that one of the key uh, points on their website is uh, the festivals and the events that they've planned. These are great suggestions to help us figure out how to improve our business in this economy, but we can only turn the corner if we stop worrying about what the press says and and focus on optimistic ideas to make our customers like us even more. So my last point is for you to build your brand around the positives that you have going for you and understand your position better and then get the entire organization pumped up and, and uh, excited about the future of the company and its plans. Your brand is uh, all about them and how they do their jobs and and they'll do it well if they're excited about it. As Bert Jacobs says, branding is knowing what you are and acting like it. Knowing what you are and acting like it. Simple uh, definition of branding, but uh, one that I think really holds true today. So those are the 10 steps uh, uh, that you can take to improve your business. And, uh, and if you're really positive about it and you really get uh, back to the basics of marketing and understanding your consumer, you're going to have success. I hope that uh, we'll be uh, hearing more from you as we go about uh, the next uh, several blogs. Uh, I've just recapped uh, all 10 of them in an article for Retail Ad World, which will be coming out next month. And we'll be looking forward to uh, talking with you in the future. So thanks a lot and uh, continued success. And don't forget, be optimistic. Thanks a lot.